This is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. We begin tonight with three breaking stories at 11. An urgent mayday call when a firefighter suddenly plunges through the roof of a burning home in Whittier. Air 7 right overhead showing a large hole visible in the roof of this home on Bloor Avenue. It's just north of Slauson. Firefighters racing in to help their comrade who was then rushed to the hospital to be checked out. Another firefighter also transported for possible heat exhaustion. No other injuries reported. And another challenging blaze for firefighters, this time at a home in West Hollywood. This one's located on Fountain Avenue, just off Fairfax. Flames already shooting, shooting through the roof when firefighters went into the home. L.A. County Fire and L.A. City Fire both responding to this intense blaze in a densely populated residential neighborhood. No reports of any injuries. And take a look at this disturbing surveillance video just released by the LAPD. This breaking story tonight, it shows a man stalking a woman as she walks down a local street just moments before police say he tried to rape her. That woman walking westbound on Roscoe Boulevard toward Owens Mouth Avenue when a frightening attack happened. Police releasing this composite sketch of the man. He's described as Hispanic, 25 to 30 years old, 6 feet tall, weighing roughly 200 pounds. If you have information on who this is, you are urged to call the LAPD. In this heat, we are under a constant threat of fires breaking out and spreading fast. In Simi Valley this evening, firefighters tackling fast-moving flames that were quickly approaching a local neighborhood. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell is there live with the video and what tense residents are saying tonight. Amy. And Mark Cruz left here just a short time ago after keeping an eye on the hills near these homes in this neighborhood all evening to make sure the fire didn't flare up again. With Southern California expected to be in the grip of a heat wave for the next several days and conditions already dry, authorities are warning that the fire danger is increasing. Thick smoke 